and welcome back in chapter 3 of our tutorial. Um, next I'm going to show you how to create the um, navigation for our social networks. Um, you saw them, uh, we want to link to Facebook and Flickr and whatnot. So um, by using CSS we can use um, the same markup we just had and can modify it a little bit. So we just can copy this section here and bring it down into here and let's call it our networks and because we are using CSS let me save this and reload the page it's gonna look exactly the same as the navigation above we don't have to insert um, any images we don't have to do with the, um, any different things we just use the same markup and we get the same layout it's very nice so before we go on let me upload some graphics uh, I'm gonna change to the tab with the graphics and um, let me choose some files so we will go with um, three files four files, a Facebook, a Flickr, a Twitter and a Xing icon. Oh, I just can upload one file one time. Okay. So let's save this. Let's save the Flickr icon. Let's save the Twitter icon. and also let's save the Xing icon now these four are uploaded I'm gonna provide a link to a complete set of social network graphics they're provided for free and they're very good um, I'm very pleased I can use them okay so now that we have this markup we can change it to our social network markup so first we want to link to Facebook so let's write in here Facebook because this is the the text and the link we want to have and you can put in the href attribute a link to your Facebook page so let's say facebook.com your profile and let's do the same here with Flickr and let's say flickr.com slash your profile or whatever and let's do this for two more networks so I'm just gonna copy the list elements we created one time for Twitter and one time for Xing and let's also provide links to these network networks well, let's put in here Twitter and oops, Xing okay save this reload the page and here are our network navigation points now next we want to paste in the images to these networks now what we've done till now is providing images um, via CSS but um, the images we're going to now put in is part of the content so it's okay to paste them in the HTML it would also be okay to use them in CSS um, but you can use them in this case you can use them in HTML that's no problem um, other examples for graphics that are part of the the content is for example um, the picture of shirt that is part of your content okay let's go on let's get back to here and into these links we're gonna provide an image tag and the source for this image tag is going to be the URL of the graphic we just uploaded. So for Facebook, it's going to be this. Okay, let's put it in here. And let's also give an alt attribute. Um, this is uh, the, the text that is provided for this graphic to the user if he doesn't see a graphic. So let's say Facebook. Alright, and let's do this um, via copy and paste for the other networks also. Okay, all text here is Flickr. Whoops, here is the alt text Twitter and Xing. 
and let's bring in the URLs for the graphics. So let's take Flickr. Okay, and now what you can see is um, if you upload something to Spatrid, it's going to change the name of the graphic by pasting in your user ID. So what we can do now is we can just um, replace this text to what our original file name was and xing.png. Let's save this. Let's reload the page. And here we go, here are our network icons. Now what I still don't like is the fact that the icons are a little bit um, higher than the text. So we can bring this down with a with a margin. Okay, let's go back to the CSS. And we can say within the ID sidebar in the class section within a box within an anchor tag the image should have a margin top or um, yeah margin top of well, let's say three pixels for example let's save this let's take a look at the page and what we can also do now is um, we can say we want this to have a vertical align so our text is gonna come up a little bit go back to CSS and let's say the vertical alignment of our graphics should be in the middle save it, reload it. Whoa! I think our margin was just a bit too much. Let's bring this down again or let's just delete it. Let's have a look. And this looks nice. Okay. Here it is. We have a complete new navigation for our shop it's on the left side, it's looking very good um, it's separated in CSS and HTML so it's fine, you can use it. Um, I hope you have fun with it. Now for the next chapters um, I'll leave it to you what I'm gonna do so it would be nice if you send me some requests um, or a comment what you wanna see next in the spread shop um, and I'm, I'll try to figure out um, what what you want to have and um, I would be also happy if I get some opinions on this so post me a comment or subscribe to my channel um, take a look at my Twitter page and that's it for so far so thanks for watching till next time bye bye